Hello everybody and welcome back to F1 Manager 2022 and in this episode it is race 9 of the 22 race calendar Canada, one of my favourites, I'm very much looking forward to this one and not only because it's my favourite track but because on the car we now have Underfloor 3 which if we compare it to Underfloor 2, so Underfloor 2 is now the numbers in red we are much much quicker with this Underfloor, yes we have a whole like 0 0.3 of a kilometre per hour um, our acceleration is greater, low speed cornering, medium speed cornering, high speed cornering, top speed low speed dirty air cornering, medium speed high speed cornering and high speed dirty air cornering as well is awesome and the fact that we've improved our dirty air cornering by nearly two percent with this upgrade is absolutely brilliant yes i'm so excited we should be on for quite a good race here in canada and uh, that fills me with excitement because this this game is still absolutely incredible you uh, you know, I thought it might just be new game syndrome where you're really enjoying something because it's new and you've not played it enough. But no, this game is literally amazing. Like, it's so much fun to play. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Let's dive into... Well, I'll dive into practice. I'll see you lot of qualifying. Canada. Oh, Canada. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to head into qualifying in a very good position. 99% confidence with Joe, 100% confidence with Alonso. All the good engine parts are fitted. We've got a car that seems pretty quick, to be honest, uh, without pushing or going like telling them to push harder, go faster. We placed 11th and 12th on the soft tyres in FP1. So. Yeah, I'm quite intrigued by this one. Let's dive into it. So there is rain due for the race tomorrow. Nothing in qualifying is predicted though, so we can just take a little bit of time. Let's uh, let's send Joe out. We love sending Joe out first. He can go uh, and have a little drive around the track, and then we're gonna send Alonso out right there. Just to make sure he's out. Just in front of X team. No, not X team. X Aston Martin driver. Lance Stroll. As Joe sets a 1.14.2. As uh, Alonso had to be a little bit of traffic there. But he didn't get a 1.11.7. Alonso setting down a marker for his teammate already. Which is uh, lovely to see. With 10 minutes to go. Signs goes quicker. But only by four tenths. I'm hoping this underfloor. It's such this. Yeah, it's such a fast track, Canada. I'm hoping our underfloor really makes a difference. As Gasly, Sainz, Perez, Verstappen all go uh, up ahead. Well, with Joe, we're going to give him fresh tyres. I feel like Alonso might be able to get through just on the same tyre. I would quite like to try that and hope that it doesn't mess up Alonso's qualifying. Um... We'll see how this unfolds. Not too long left to go. As uh, people are just doing their last few... Last few sort of laps. I'll be interested to see what Hamilton does here. Is he going to come in? Yes, he is. Is Bottas going to come in? Yes, he is. I assume Ocon, Ocon is going to come in as well. Right, we're going to send Alonso out. In the clear air here. Now, 2 minutes 50. Alonso's going to go. Joe, look at that. Alonso's front of the pack. Come on. First time we've ever successfully managed to do it. And then as Joe, we're going to try and get last. So everyone else is coming out. Everybody else is just making their way out. There we go. Magnussen's out. Joe's out. So we can get on board with Fernando Alonso in a minute. He's going to be starting his quick lap. And he's right at the front, warming up those tyres. He uh, let's let's keep an eye on the sector times. That's always a good way to do it, isn't it? We did that in the last episode, and it it was quite easy to see who was doing what. So Alonso starting his flying lap. We're on two times speed. Let's knock that down for this lap, and um, we'll keep an eye on Guan Yu Zhou. Hopefully, I haven't messed him up, and he will get through because he didn't put in a great time in the first uh, in the first thing. He's got quite a long way to go, Guan Yu Zhou, in 40 seconds. Alonso green sector one. That is good on the U set of tyres. That's good. So Guan Yu Zhou has got. 35 seconds to get down the really quick straight through the wall of champions uh, and then over the start finish line it could be quite close for Guan Yuzhou I may have left him a little bit too long as uh, Fernando Alonso is coming through so it's green sectors for Hamilton, Leclerc, Vettel and Alonso and Hulkenberg although Alonso has done back to back green sectors now, Ricardo sets a green sector as well, is Joe we're just going to 
Joe's not too far ahead here. We're going to quickly... Are oh, we going to jump on board with Joe? Joe's going to make it. Joe is going to make it. He's going to start a quick lap, so we haven't messed Joe over. Alonso here is on for setting a very, very good time and improving on his previous time on his used soft tyres. Fernando Alonso... What can he do as he crosses the line? It's not an improved sector, but he does go up to seventh at the moment. Verstappen set in a purple sector one. Let's jump on board with Guan Yu Zhou. We've nearly got a whole lap between these two, by the way, to get this done. As uh, Alonso does still bit above, sit above Gasly, who's also finished his lap. Hulkenberg finishes. Vettel finishes. Doesn't go above Alonso. Hamilton and Leclerc have finished as well. Zhou, green sector one, which is what we want to see. Ricardo comes in slower than Alonso and Vettel and Albon as well. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so Alonso is through already. Guan Yu Zhou has to improve, though. And he has set two green sectors, which is very, very nice of him. Very good indeed. He is on a very good lap at the moment. He's on a very good lap. He's on a... Well, he's... Well, he's got... what well, I think Alonso did a 111. If we get to last lap, let's just ignore that. So, last lap, Alonso did a 111.63... Guan Yu Zhou could be on for a really good time here. 110, 111.7, and he goes 10th. Alonso 7th, Guan Yu Zhou in 10th. We are both through to Q2. And if we put times like that in, in Q2, we're going to be through to Q3 as well. So both Aston Martin drivers in the top 10 after Q1. So into Q2 we go. Both drivers are going to start on uh, a used set of tyres. And again, we're going to send Zhou out. Uh, right now, just to get him out. Vettel follows him. We're going to follow Hamilton out. So, yeah, starting both drivers on uh, a used set for this one, just to see, you know, set a, set a banker time in, get that done, as uh, Joe goes quicker than Vettel, but Hamilton obviously goes quicker. Alonso, oh, Alonso's definitely going to have to put in a new time there. That was not a good time from Fernando Alonso. So, Joe, on to fresh softs. Can Although Alonso was on really worn tyres, so Alonso does have two sets of soft left, so... I'm not too concerned at the moment. Obviously, the degradation on the softs is pretty uh, pretty heavy. I'm just wondering, we could we get Alonso? I'm not going to risk it. I was thinking we could get Alonso out again, but we're not going to. Uh, we're going to risk it. When did I send him out? Two minutes fifty. Was it two minutes fifty? I think we sent him out last time. I think that's what we're going to aim for again to try and get out in front of the pack. So let's see how we go. So Alonso down in thirteenth, Joe in seventh at the moment, which is mightily impressive. For our second driver, if we want to call him that. So three uh, three minutes. There is 2.50 for Alonso. Again, he's going to go out first and lead the pack. He's going to have all that clean air. And then we're going to send out Joe there. I'm not sure if Joe's going to be last out. I think someone's going to come home. No, Joe is last out. So it's the same orders again for the drivers. And once again, we'll drive on board with Fernando Alonso. Just while we talk about both of them going round. So... I, we've got potential here for both in the top 10 as here comes Fernando Alonso crossing the line and starting his lap so you, uh, yeah this is going to be this is going to be really interesting actually so Alonso right at the front Joe right at the back I wonder if you can tell if there was a difference about what to do maybe we should have reversed it for this time and see if it is better to have this clear air or have a more grippy sort of track when everyone's laid down a bit more rubber. But anyway, Alonso sets a green sector one, which is exactly what we want to see with him on these fresh tyres. You'd like to think having completely clean air in front of you is the way to do it. So Alonso should set a very good time here. And we've got to remember 2 minutes 50 is when we want to go out to give Alonso the free time. Maybe 2.45 for Alonso, or 2.55 for Alonso, and then 2.48 or 2.46 maybe, something like that for Joe to try and get him out. But uh, here comes Fernando Alonso down the start finish straight. Double green sectors for him, which is exactly what we need to see. I'm expecting a good improvement here from Fernando Alonso, as we'll just ignore that. We'll go on to last lap. So uh, as he comes across the line, well, for speeding to cross the line, Fernando Alonso is surely a 111, a huge jump there, up into sixth. Magnussen can't improve. Let's jump on board with Guan Yu Zhou as more times start coming in. Gasly doesn't go faster than Alonso. Norris doesn't go faster than Alonso. Uh, a lot of times down here where people are going to improve. Leclerc, Hamilton, Perez, Verstappen all at the moment above Alonso. Looks like Alonso's through to Q1 already. Guan Yu Zhou is now in the danger zone. He drops down to 11th. 
Guan Yuzhou. He needs to find a bit of time here. And he's doing a good job at the moment. Two green sectors as he races to the line. Guan Yu Zhou does a 1.775. And he is so close to Ocon. He's so unlucky, but he gets 11th, Guan Yu Zhou. He put in a good time. Three green sectors. And he'll be starting the Canadian Grand Prix in 11th. And I am not disappointed with that at all. So into Q3 we go then. And... Uh, I think we're just going to send Fernando out now. Oh, Bottas had the same idea as well. So Fernando uh, is out. We're setting the first the first lap, as we always do, on a used set of soft tyres. And I'm hoping that we can use that to our advantage. As our Bottas goes quickest. Alonso is only half a second off Perez, so not too bad. Obviously, just a complete shootout at this point now. Look, we've got two fresh set of soft tyres there. So I sort of feel like... We just use one. Is there a certain set that goes back? I can't remember. We'll put that set on. We're going to go out in on 2 minutes 50 again is what we're going to aim for here. Get Alonso out in front. It's worked for him so far. He's 7 tenths off uh, Verstappen at the moment, but ahead of Gasly, Norris, Leclerc and Ocon. So 3 minutes is up. Oh, someone's going there. Gone a bit earlier this time, haven't they? Verstappen wanted that. Maybe they learned. Maybe the AI learned about having the uh, the free space in front as Verstappen has gone out slightly earlier. Already on pole position, Max Verstappen. So you can argue that's been a little bit greedy, if you ask me. But here is Alonso warming up the tyres, getting them to temperature as he comes into the uh, the Wall of Champions. Well, hopefully not into the Wall of Champions. Round the chicane with the Wall of Champions. And he is going to start his flying lap now. He's currently seven tenths off Max Verstappen. Signs ahead of him. Leclerc, you've got to feel, will improve. I feel like we may catch Bottas, but I think even Bottas might be a bit too quick. So I think seventh would be a very good position to start in this one. Only losing out to uh, Charles Leclerc, I think, would be a good option. But here we go then. Is it actually is it Charles Leclerc who we're currently following, or is it Signs? I think it's Signs. Leclerc is uh, right out in front. I think is that oh no Leclerc is behind us so Alonso is following Carlos Sainz at the moment but yeah quite a lot of free air in front of him but at the moment it looks like the upgrades are doing a fantastic job for Aston Martin especially with Joe getting into 11th as well as we're going to come round the big hairpin really tight right hander that I love to turn on on the F122 game as uh, we come flying down the really quick really quick start finish straight well not the back straight I guess we'd call this and then you bomb it down with the DRS open up towards the uh, chicane with the wall of champions as we always get that annoying message to say that fuel's going to run out we uh, come around there avoid the wall get the power down and Fernando Alonso is going to set oh I don't think this is 111.4 I think that was he does improve not enough to catch Bottas though who goes very quick Sainz does jump up Norris doesn't beat Alonso Hamilton stays in third it looks like it's going to be a Red Bull 1-2 unless Charles Leclerc can do something special, which he can't. Gasly does improve, but doesn't uh, jump above Alonso. So, yeah, it is a seventh place start for Fernando Alonso. Yeah, a really good qualifying that one. Fernando Alonso starting in seventh. Guan Yu Zhou starting in 11th. Very, very happy with that one. Um, who really... Well, I mean, Vettel losing out to an Aston Martin. That's going to hurt him. Lance Stroll getting knocked out in Q1 is just laughable. Laughable Lance. But uh, Max Verstappen sets a 110.8. That is ridiculously quick. But uh, 7th and 11th, can't complain with that. Okay, so on to the fun part of strategy. It does say a one-stopper. I I think we're going to go soft to hards with Fernando and just try and try and eat them out. Or do you don't... Oh, I don't like starting on the hards, but you could go... You could go hard to soft here. And end on a really fast tyre. Like, they drop off. But if there's a safety car, you go to lap 50-ish, 51, and then put the softs on. <sighs> I know it's risky, Fernando, but you're going to do it, mate. You know, you're going hard to soft. Guan Yu Zhou, I think soft to hards could be a good shout for him. Try and get him up a place or two. Yeah, we'll start Guan Yu Zhou on the softs like that. And uh, manage it as it goes. Both of them have been like saving tyres really well in the last couple of races. So that was very quick for strategy. It's hard to soft and soft to hard. 
Let's see how this goes. Oh, obviously, driver options. Absolutely belt it off the line like we always do. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know what the safety car... Uh, no, not post-practice. I want pre-race. Uh, expected strategies, time considerations, safety car, 67%. So, virtual safety car is pretty much, yeah, it's guaranteed. But, yeah, okay. Pitting under the safety car, safety car is nine seconds lost. So, that would be absolutely massive to, uh, to put under the safety car. Let's just check that this is all stuck on. It has driver options. Yep, strategies are there. Starting Alonso on the hards is risky. So, my favourite Grand Prix of the circuit, the Canadian Grand Prix, is underway. And we are focusing on Fernando Alonso, who starts so high up in seventh. It's absolutely incredible. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Pierre Gasly straight away. There's, you can see already, there's a mix of runners here. Alonso, the only person on the hard tyre. Softs and mediums is uh, what everyone else is running on. But we know it's the long game here. We know it's the long game with Fernando Alonso. So I'm really not too worried about that. Guan Yu Zhou right on the back of someone. Alonso gets Gasly back on the outside. And uh, and he's going to make that one stick. Great work from Fernando Alonso. I am aware we have to make these tyres last. But uh, we should be in a good good place to do it. Fernando Alonso is also going for a move on Valtteri Bottas. Lovely stuff. Alonso taking Gasly and Bottas on this first lap. I feel like let's just uh, let's drop his tyre stuff down straight away. We'll get the, make sure we've got the fuel in line. Guan Yu Zhou, I think we're pushing him anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we're pushing him on, on his tyres a little bit. So at the moment, everyone's sort of running on the pace they want. And Alonso, sitting... Well, I say sitting behind signs. He is going for a move on the Ferrari. Is he going to make get this done down the straight? This would be massive if he does. He's on the outside and then the inside round the chicane. Uh, can't quite make that one... Get that one done. So I think we say we're happy where we are at the moment. Uh, Joe into 10th. So he's gained a position on Lando Norris, which is awesome. Both drivers in the points. Both drivers doing very well at the moment. Okay, DRS is enabled, but Fernando Alonso has just dropped off the back of Carlos Sainz. So we're going to ask him to push a little bit more to get his uh, ERS deployment involved there. Joe is going to be on in one of the world's... Well, he's going to be in a huge DRS train sitting behind his teammate. So Alonso does need to close that gap if possible so i ask him to push a little bit more until he's within a second which he's going to be right there i think coming around 1.1 ah oh, fernando come on you need to really put that in 1.001 so he's actually caught up with carlos signs out of the exit of that corner signs pulled away a little bit with his uh with his drs now the hairpin is a great opportunity to catch someone up here where they break heavily I'm just not too sure where the detection zone is. Alonso having a little bit of a weave. Hopefully his tyres aren't getting too overheated. But he's not going to have DRS down this huge straight. And that is a little bit of a concern. Although he is 0.6 seconds. So Sainz not getting a good exit out of that uh, hairpin. But this is where everyone else with the DRS will potentially make up some ground on Fernando Alonso. As he comes around past all the champions again. Bottas really putting him under pressure. And yeah, the DR not having DRS is hurting Fernando here. And Bottas is going to get past. So I think we just settle in behind Valtteri Bottas, who's a driver we can keep a bit more pace with and get into a DRS battle with, which I honestly don't mind. Guan Yu Zhou still down in 10th, fighting with the Alpine of Esteban Ocon and Gasly. It won't be long on his tyres that he's battling Alonso, I think. So uh, we'll have to, yeah, it's definitely one to watch and see how it unfolds. So Alonso now in a battle with uh, Esteban Ocon and Joe is right behind Alonso and I'm wondering if we let Joe go because we know that he's on the quicker tyre and he's pushing. But what I don't want to do is let Sebastian Vettel through as well. So this is an interesting one here because we know that Fernando Alonso is playing the long game. But I also don't want him to hold up his teammate. Let's go don't fight teammate on this section here. He's going to let him through there. Oh, yeah. See, Vettel got through as well. That was always the issue with that bit. But I don't mind that because we know Alonso's playing the long game. He's going to get track position as uh, as these hard tyres last longer than everybody else. So, and hopefully he can get hopefully he can get Vettel back, right? That's the main thing. But, yeah, hard softs here. I mean, Vettel's making those softs do really well. 86%. Oh, maybe... No, Joe didn't. Joe started on fresh. I know he's pushing a bit harder, but so is Ocon, Leclerc, Sainz, Perez, Hamilton. 
Yeah, okay. This is going to be uh, an interesting little race. Alonso slightly dropping off the pace because of his hard tyres, which is... Well, we, we planned for that. We knew it was the slower tyre. He's sticking within DRS at the moment, um, which will just pull him along nicely. But with Guan Yu Zhou, I sort of feel like let's let's get him to push it. Let's get, let's get him to gain as many places as he can before he needs to come in and pit because his pit window isn't too far away. Lap 19 for Grand Yujo. So he needs to really push these tyres and get them get them going. Use his DRS and ERS. See what he can do. Fernando Alonso is still being pulled around by Seb, which is fine. I mean, look at this down the start, finish straight. It's absolute mayhem. Fernando Alonso there at the back on the hard tyre, but they go too wide and no one can get past. They're taking up the whole track basically with it being too wide down here and there's another gaggle of cars just behind us as uh, Alonso is still trying to just hold tight there with Vettel as Joe is now battling with Esteban Ocon on those hard on those soft tires as well can't quite make it round him though so let's uh, put him back to neutral let him charge and deploy as he sees fit and Valtteri Bottas leading this group round doing a good job it was, or is it actually Pierre Gasly actually is in front as Joe, is it? Yes, Grand New Joe. Lovely stuff there to get round. And he's going to still have DRS, obviously, in this huge drain. Um, where is Fernando Alonso? He's hanging on to the back, but Joe has done a great job there to jump a position ahead of Astaban Ocon and is right on the back of Valtteri Bottas as well. So let's harvest him up a little bit, get him to save some energy. We could potentially get him to save some tyres as well, given that he's doing such a good job. Oh, it looks like he ran a little bit wide on that corner, but... He's, uh, he's doing a fantastic job. Gasly sort of pulling everyone along at the moment. Okay, Joe's been harvesting up. He's starting to lose a little bit of pace to the cars in front. So we'll just get him back on neutral after he's charged up well there. And um, yeah, we're in a good position. The only thing is, there is rain predicted here. Um, which is going to affect Fernando Alonso's strategy more than anything. And Joe... Joe is pitting. It's going to affect both of their strategies. Joe's pitting on lap 19. And the rain comes... A couple of laps after that. So I think you go... The thing with Joe is you sort of now... It changes now and you need to make these tyres last longer. You need to make these soft tyres last until the rain. That's what he needs to do. Uh, and I think Alonso... Alonso's sort of on the other end, right? He, he needs to push. I should have checked this because mediums would have been perfect to get you to that point. Or both of them on the softs would have been good as well. Okay, I think Fernando, we, we tell Fernando, really push those tyres, don't worry about it. In fact, deploy your battery as well, because you might as well try and make hay while the sun's shining. Literally. Oh man, Alonso and Joe. Alonso's actually overtaken Joe, and they've both massively dropped off the pace. I think it's the tyres that are hurting uh, that are hurting Guan Yu Zhou. As soon as you tell them to go light, it, they just lose all their pace. They have caught up now back into DRS, as uh, Joe is... Well, sitting behind Fernando Alonso, which isn't something I would have expected to happen at this point. But it does make a difference when you tell him to ease off the tyres. Did that save enough for Guan Yu Zhou? He did get more life out of them, which is good. That's what he needed. So we'll keep him running at normal pace. And hopefully he can keep up with Fernando and they just get pulled along by this DRS train until the rain. But it does go to show that pushing your tyres does make a huge difference in terms of pace. That's what we're learning here, people. That's today's lesson. Oh! Nearly at a standstill around the hairpin. Was that Bottas having a bit of a shocker there? He is now 1.3 seconds off Gasly, so he looked like he had a bit of a nightmare there. So Fernando Alonso right on the back of Esteban Ocon, but Guan Yu Zhou has really, really dropped off the pace again. It must be his tyres that are struggling. He is on his... Oh, yeah, so it would have been... Oh, there's a something in Sector 1. There's something in Sector 1. It's just a yellow flag. Somebody's locked up. No safety car. Sonoda who's uh, behind us, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. This this is going to be massive, this rain. It's going to be intermediates, I think. It's going to go to full wet for a tiny bit, but we're going to try and stick that out. We're going to learn from Monaco and try and stick it out on intermediates, but we need to make it until lap 24, 25. And that's going to be the tricky thing. I think with a Fernando, it's easy. But with Ocon, uh, with Ocon, with Joe, it's going to be tough. He has saved a bit of tyres there, so we're going to... Get him to drag. Let's see if he can get it to lap 25. And then it's going to be intermediates. Sort of pushing. And Fernando. We, we might as well make the, get these changes in here now. Onto intermediates. 
25 as well for now. We can bring him in early if needs be, but we need to get those strategy changes in there so that we know what's happening. Is uh, Fernando Alonso sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix so far. Absolutely awesome news to come back here. Yeah, what brilliant stuff from Fernando. Oh, Guan Yu Zhou. He's dropped down to 14th. He's had a shocker. He, turned, he went wide at a corner, and uh, it's cost him a lot here. It's cost him a lot. He's, he's, he's unlucky. It was an overtaking manoeuvre that he was trying, and he caught up to Ocon and just got it all wrong. But Fernando Alonso is on the wall. He's on a charge here. He's got in front of Sebastian Vettel and is now hunting down 8.3 seconds to Hamilton. He's not really going to make it work. But, like yeah. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou is now on the back of Alex Albon, George Russell, Lando Norris. And quite a way off where he was previously with Esteban Ocon. But uh, he's he's hanging on. He's, he's getting in there. Now it's just a case of strategy for him and making sure we pit him at the right time. Okay, so we're getting the news through to say that wet weather is going to be here pretty soon so uh, we just need to keep an eye on this yeah not far away Tw five laps five laps to go 40 percent chance of rain in three minutes time how good is our weather center that's what that's what really matters and can Grand you joke get those tires for five more laps that is a long way to go we may pick Grand you joke because he's dropped back a bit we may pit him on lap 24 and get him in early could be two too soon for the wet weather so he'll really struggle for that first lap but i think that's what we do alonso into seventh chasing down seb vettel who got him back but now alonso has uh, drs which is awesome can he make this move done on one of the longest straights it's it's got to be one of the longest straight sections this in the grand prix circuit and obviously Jeddah probably has uh, a bigger one but yeah not bad and uh, it looks like fernando is going to get it done right here after the wall of champions and he does up to sixth place for Fernando Alonso. Lovely stuff there. Um, Guan Yu Zhou, as we see Esteban Ocon, I clicked on him accidentally, having a go at George Russell. Can he make it through? No, he can't. So we'll still focus on Fernando Alonso. And Zhou is in the pit window. It's going to be touch and go for him, I think. Fernando Alonso also enters his pit window as well as uh, Valtteri Bottas has just made his way around the Spaniard. A lot of these other drivers that did medium and softs may have been paying attention to the weather a bit more than I did. Always check the weather before you drive into the race, Dave. You know that. And you knew it was going to be wet as well as Guan Yu Zhou has dropped two seconds off Albon. His tyres are really, really struggling here. But it's too early to go onto those intermediates. Rain has started earlier than predicted now. Rain has started. Okay, where is Zhou? He's just gone past the pit, so... Guan Yu Zhou is going to pit this lap onto intermediates. We're going to make that, we're going to get him on, because by the time he gets round, that's going to be, in fact, I think we're going to have to double stack here. Yeah, we are. We're going to go intermediates as well for Alonso, and we're going to try and get in, because that's going to go up. I think everyone is going to pit right now, because Alonso has got Bottas. So, let's, uh, let's get these guys pushing. Let's get these guys pushing. They're both coming in. So hopefully we can make this work because that is going to be intermediate weather. So the leaders are all going to... Everyone's basically going to pit this lap. The track is damp. The track is damp. Thank you, uh, Steve Cronin. Alonso hears you. That's all right. As uh, oh, I'm just worried about Guan Yu Zhou been in this. So yes, yeah, Sonoda's going to get the advantage. He's going to be right at the back so he could pit as the weather changed. Oh, it's getting tense. Oh, Alonso's getting very close to uh, Valtteri Bottas there, who's really struggling on those soft tyres. He's really struggling, and that's what I'm worried about with Grand Yu Zhou. So let's get him to bring that pace down. Yeah, look, he's five seconds off. All oh, the leaders. Perez stays out, unbelievably. Par Perez stays out. Pitting this lap, pitting this lap. Just got to make sure that those words are on there. As uh, Oh, we've actually overtaken Bottas, which is good. Vettel surely is going to come into the pit, or is he staying out? Vettel stays out. Oh, my word. That is incredible. Sebastian Vettel is staying out on those tyres. Alonso and Bottas come in. Ocon comes in. More people staying out. Surely that is an error now. It's 2.2 millimetres in. As Joe is coming into the pits. Here's Alonso. That's got to be a good change. 2.6. The team are then ready to have Guan Yu Zhou as well. We need another good stop here for Guan Yu Zhou. He's got a long way to go to get to that pit box. So Alonso is going to come out in 10th, but people haven't pitted yet. Grand Yu Zhou, 2.7 seconds as well. So 0.1 of a second, slightly worse off than uh, Fernando Alonso. But we have pitted, and some people are staying out, and that could be 
a monumental error there as we're going to just drop these down to aggressive what is the weather doing it's sort of staying it dies off a bit here where we can get back to the softs so what's that lap 70 ish sorry no lap 53 something like that so these on slightly aggressive will definitely make it there so slightly aggressive let's see what these two can do on the intermediate tires we need them to make them work who didn't come into pit Norris, Gasly, Russell, Vettel, Leclerc and Perez all stayed out and uh, I think Alonso is in their range there because he's already overtaken Norris and those guys are going to be struggling on those slick compound tyres whereas Fernando Alonso is going to have a field day here and he should get Pierre Gasly so easily. The traction when you're on the wrong set of tyres is ridiculous. Perez and Leclerc into pit. Surely Vettel comes in as well. I can't imagine him staying out. Uh, too much longer everyone going to intermediate tires Vettel is in Gasly just Alonso just go around him you know he's going to come into pit right Gasly in the pit is Perez Perez is coming out very very slowly is Alonso going to get them no I don't think he is it's going to be a bit of a rush to turn two here as Alonso is going to come out just behind Charles Leclerc. That's unfortunate. But Joe back up into the points in 10th. Lovely stuff. We've got the strategy right so far. I think the strategy now is you you just sort of brace this bit and get through it and stay on the intermediates. Because track water's 2.8 and this is the peak. So that will be a little bit of full wet tyres. And if other people come into pit, I think we take advantage and stay out on the intermediates and risk it. As Fernando Alonso is going for a move on Charles Leclerc here. He's going for... He's, he's having a look at Charles Leclerc. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou is right on the back of Alex Albon, which is lovely to see from our point of view. How close is Valtteri Bottas? Not incredibly close. As Alonso still having another look at Charles Leclerc. The, the experienced Spaniard thinks he can get a move done on the Ferrari. You love to see it. So lap 29, Alonso still on the back of Charles Leclerc. Albon's gained another spot up into Albon. What am I on about? Joe has gained another spot above Albon into eighth. He's actually taking Ricardo's out. And he's right on the back of Esteban Ocon. So he's having a really good attempt. And Alonso is having a proper go at Charles Leclerc at the moment in this. It's really good to see. Both great, great, great driving from both drivers for Aston Martin. This is where... It looks like it's going to go to full wet territory. And is the AI going to pit? We're not. We're going to keep these guys out. And when it gets above four, we're just going to knock down their push on the tyres. And then we're going to... Um, well, in fact, we could push them harder because their temperature will cool down with more water on track. So this is the interesting bit. Is it going to get above four millimetres? And are the AI going to panic and come into pit? That's the thing. Someone else has locked up and it was the guy in front of us. It was Esteban Ocon who's had a shocker. And Joe is now sitting in 7th with Alonso in 6th. And it's a yellow flag. And you can see it right in front of us. Is it a full safety car? It probably shouldn't be. It was just Esteban Ocon going off. As Sainz has spun as well on turn 6. Now that is worth watching. Carlos Sainz in the slightly damp conditions. Oh, it's a big spin as well. Has he got that back on track? He, has back, he is back on track. He's going to lose a lot of time though. Perez is going to catch up to him there. As uh, Alonso still on the back of Leclerc. Joe trying to hunt down his teammate. But at the moment, this is going very, very well. We've just got to get through this really bad bit of rain. Right, well, we're in peak peak rain at the moment. But it's just it's just gone down a hell of a lot. It's gone down a hell, a hell of a lot. Um, the interesting thing of where we sit right now is that if we just do whatever, basically, Verstappen, Hamilton and Sainz do... We, we should be in a great position to finish this race. We don't react to Leclerc. We react to what the leaders do. Um, because, yeah, we're dropping down to 1.9 already. I think, yeah, I, I don't see how... I, yeah, I don't see how we pit onto anything else. We stay on the intermediates until you need those soft tyres. I think that's what we do. I mean, we could even just sit behind Leclerc. But if Alonso can get the move done, then why, why the hell not? Aha, here comes the heavy rain. We're back up to two millimetres now. And, uh, yeah, it's slightly late on our telemetry, so our weather centre may not be the best. But, uh, yeah, oh, my word, Alonso on Leclerc. He's really having a look. He's really trying to get this move done, Fernando Alonso. And, he's, he, to be fair, he's putting in a bloody good effort against what is a much faster car. But uh, can he get him at the hairpin? He's got the inside. I think he's going to have him, you know. He is going to have him, Fernando Alonso, up into fifth. That 
is absolutely fantastic from Fernando Alonso. Fantastic Fernando, we'll call him here, as now the rain should be easing off and we got nowhere near wet weather, wet weather running. Okay, lap 37 and the track dampness is starting to come down, but I do think we're on these for quite a while. So we just need to, yeah, he's got loads of, they've both got loads of, uh, loads of tyre to play with and I don't need to push them anymore because Leclerc's put a, he's, he's lost a second to Alonso. Joe might catch him at this rate as well. So we're doing fantastically well. No need to push anything. Very, very happy with how this is going. Just got to keep an eye on what the leaders do, as I said. If they come into pit, I think we do the same because once this weather dies off, there's a little bit at the end. But I think if you don't go on to softs in this bit, then you'll really struggle for, for pace. I think it may be inters soft back to inters but we'll uh we'll, we'll play it by ear lap 51 alonso's put a two second gap to leclerc joe has put a 15 second gap back to albon so both drivers doing it really really well we are getting close to potentially the changeover and i'm like that's a lot of laps to not be on soft tires if it drops below a millimeter so i do think we have to pit do i gamble and try and undercut the team in the teams in front I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because we're pushing these tyres much harder than anyone else, knowing that we don't need to go back onto them. And oh, Red Bull have made... In this game, Red Bull have made some pretty poor strategy calls in, in wet weather. It's going up again now. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. We predicted, what, lap 50-something around now to, to make this... To make the change... But you can't at the moment. It's nowhere near slick slick conditions. So we've actually made it to lap 56 and we're still on intermediate tyres. And I think these tyres, if we don't need to change, I think I still think we might have to. But if we don't change, these tyres will easily make it to the end at this, uh, this sort of pace. Which is amazing to see. We just need... It's, uh, it's just what's going to happen here. I mean... Verstappen is so far out in front that if he reacts or Hamilton reacts, we're going to have enough time to come in and pit. Even Perez is so far in front that we will have enough time to make that to make that call as well. So we're in a we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We just need to keep an eye on the the track water levels. Okay, and just as it was easing off, we've just had a big downpour. We've just had a big. It's gone back to two millimeters. This is just wet weather strategy planning this game. Wet weather strategy simulator. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's not a knock at the game. I absolutely love it. Because it's only going to drop and be dry for a, a, a couple of laps at most. And then it's going to go back into intermediate weather. Just thinking we might not even pit at all. As Joe is saying, his tyres are getting a little bit warm. But we're still in good pace. Lap 60. 10 laps to go. Two millimetres of rain. The track is not going to get any drier. We just need to nurse these tyres home now. I mean, do I go to standard or have these got enough? I think they've got I think they've got enough to make it. Sector three, yellow flag. I mean, a safety car for us would be absolutely dreadful right now. Um, Leclerc is hot on our tails. Someone's run wide somewhere. Sonoda again. He, I'm, I'm glad we didn't get Sonoda. I'm glad I went for Joe over Sonoda. He's had a dreadful time in that Williams this season. But um, Joe's in a good position. Leclerc is just closing up now on Alonso. I'm just wondering, do we knock the tyres down? Even if it's a, a sixth and seventh place finish, I'm very, very happy with that. We've, we've been driving very well. Um, there's really no concern. We've got 50% tires left. How's that line doing? I sort of need to get my ruler out, don't I, and measure it on the screen. And so, oh, I've got something straight here that I can try and... You can't see this, but I am measuring that line up. Or it may not quite make it. So I think for the essence of making sure we get to the end of the race, let's drop them both down to standard. We do have a little bit of fuel that we could play with and we could deploy our battery when we need to as well. So, yeah. Uh, again, very, very happy with where we sit at the moment. Oh, we've had someone. It's a safety car. It's a full-on safety car. Now it's nine seconds to pit under safety car. Which means we could come out in front of Joe. Joe can pit and come out in front of Albon. I think, given where we are on the track, we pit here. We let Leclerc go. Leclerc's going to get us. He probably would have overtaken us anyway. I think we pit. We pit for another set of intermediates. Get on fresh tyres where we can absolutely rag them. So he's pitting this lap. P2. 
pit options, pit this lap. If I'm right, if I'm right with the nine second safety car, we should both be come out in sixth and seventh in front of Albon. That's how I'm thinking about this because Joe is nine seconds off Leclerc and Albon is 18 seconds off Joe. So we should be good. Pitting this lap, pitting this lap. Where is Joe? So Joe is quite a way behind Alonso. So we should be able to get them both into pit. Ignore, ignore. Is anyone else going to pit or are the front people? It's Bottas that's out who was challenging us for quite a lot of this race. So no overtaking permitted. So Leclerc is just going to get past us. So the guys in front haven't pitted and the safety car isn't out yet. So Albon, hang on. Oh, Albon, I was going to say you can see Joe. So Alonso is in. So again, we need another good stop here. Joe is coming in right behind him. So Alonso's in. 2.7, not bad. How is Guan Yu Zhou's stop going to be? So he's going to come in now. Albon's a long way down the road. Joe, fre new fresh tyres. 2.5 for Guan Yu Zhou. Two very good pit stops. Albon coming round the, uh, the chicane. And Alonso is out. And Alonso shouldn't be caught by the safety car. Guan Yu Zhou hopefully doesn't have... Oh no, don't tell me that now. No, this it's still intermediate weather. It's still intermediate weather. Right, Guan Yu Zhou, don't get caught behind the safety car. Good, they patched that. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Right, so... Harvest up. Harvest up. Conserve. And conserve. The tyres we don't need to worry about because we're on these till the end. So we can push them like that. But if we can get right up behind everyone here on fresh tyres, this could be massive. Okay. okay, so the rain the rain has stopped now. But there's still 2 millimetres of water on track. And I think intermediates will be fine till the end. What we don't want to happen is for this to say the safety car's coming in. Which it isn't because we haven't caught up yet. But Alonso, ERS is fully charged for Joe. Um, Alonso should have it fully charged as well. Alonso has caught up, so this could be massive. The safety car will be ending safety relatively soon. Joe is quite a long way away. Um, okay. We're just going to set these now straight away to get everything get everything pushing because we are quite far off the back. And there's Joe. He's got a long space to make up. But Alonso is in a cracking position here because of the safety car on fresh tyres. As the safety car is ending, we'll go, we'll go TV broadcast. We'll go in the last five laps. Guan Yu Zhou has now caught up to the safety car, which is amazing. 1.4 millimeters on track. Safety car ending soon. Look at everyone. Look at everyone trying to get position. I think there's a few lap cars in there somewhere, which I'm sure are going to cause some headaches as Verstappen gets the group back underway. Alonso in sixth, and there's a there's a whole hub of cars in front there. This again could be one of those that causes loads of issues. As Fernando Alonso going up the inside of Charles Leclerc. Can he get it done on his fresh tyres? I think he can. Come on. Come on. That Haas needs to just get out of the way. That Haas is, oh, that Haas is causing all sorts of issues. That Haas has had an absolute nightmare for Guan Yu Zhou and for Alonso. Because Alonso was going to get Charles Leclerc. He was right on him. He was right on him. And the lap cars, they need to patch that so that lap cars overtake the safety car. And it's going to happen again with this pissing Williams. Leclerc's also being held up. There, that time we get through. Did Joe get through okay as well? He's been held up a little bit. Oh, man. Now, I think. If everyone pits now, as it's going to go into slick weather running, we've only got four laps left. I think we just stick out on the intermediates and try and make it work. I don't think it's worth pitting. As Alonso is up into fifth. He does get Charles Leclerc, although Charles Leclerc has the inside there. But off this push, we should be fine. Is anyone going to pit this lap? It's slowly getting into slick weather, we uh, slick weather running as Alonso is trying to get both Ferraris here on the same lap. Oh, this is going to be so close for weather. Because four, three, four laps on these tyres is going to be brutal for speed. As uh, there's a lap car of Lando Norris getting in the way, which means Sainz managed to pull away very quickly. So four laps to go, and it's now slick weather. It is now slick weather running as uh, Guan Yu Zhou trying to look up the outside of Leclerc as well. The track is dry. Oh, it's, uh, Zhou could be at risk here for messing, for crashing out because he's not got the best adaptability for driving on the wrong tyres. I just feel like it's so late in the race to have another pit stop. As Alonso is going for a move on Carlos Sainz and gets that done as well. Oh my word, this is incredible racing at the end of this. 
Alonso is in P4, 1.3 seconds off Perez. Is everybody else going to come in and pit? It, are they going to come in and pit with three laps to go? It's like, what, a 26 second pit stop, I think they said? Can you make 26 seconds up in three laps? Because, with, I mean, this is mental. Alonso is going to have a go at Perez here. The ERS battery is empty. Get it onto neutral, lad. Get it onto neutral. Manage it yourself from now on in. What you harvest, you deploy. And Joe and Alonso up to fourth and fifth. Verstappen is pitting. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to pit. We're going to stick it out with Carlos Perez here. We're going to go into second place here. We are going into second. Verstappen is coming out on softs and probably is going to catch us. Where does Verstappen come out, though? Surely they're going to drop so much. Everyone behind us pitted. Leclerc didn't pit. Alonso still chasing down Carlos Perez with three laps to go. So Verstappen is out and he's passed Valtteri Bottas. He's got eight. He's eight seconds off Leclerc, who's in a second, two seconds off us. So ten seconds. Can Verstappen do ten seconds in three laps? Probably. He probably can. But I don't think we risk it. I don't think it's worth it because that pit stop. Oh, I swear it said it was like 20 seconds. No one else is in that, so I could look at the time. But uh, so Alonso's first. Oh my God, I've missed that. Alonso has overtaken Carlos Perez. We definitely, Checo Perez, we definitely do not pit now. We definitely do not pit. Fernando Alonso is leading the Canadian Grand Prix with two laps to go. It's all about Max Verstappen. It's just all about seeing how quickly Max Verstappen can get round here. So Russell comes into pit. Perez comes into pit. Oh my word. Alonso and Joe. Leclerc is pitted as well. We've got a 1-2 here. And with two laps to go, I'm fully expecting Verstappen to catch us. If we compare lap times. one thirty, A one seventeen. He's doing two seconds quicker than our last lap with two, seconds to, two laps to go. And he is... Four. He's gaining. That's all we need to know at the moment. He's gaining. But Fernando Alonso and Guan Yu Zhou are leading this race. Guan Yu Zhou, don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight your teammate. Don't fight your teammate. Just stay behind him. Um, Alonso can have the win. Alonso can have the win. Lap 69 of 70 for Snappen and Hamilton are gaining. Does Zhou have DRS? No, he's so much quicker in that slipstream, isn't he? Right. Deploy, Fernando. Deploy. We need to We need to get this done. Verstappen, 3.4 seconds away. We'll ride on board with Guan Yu Zhou. You don't even need to defend Fernando. Just He's not going to overtake you. ERS battery is empty. We're heading into the last lap. Max Verstappen is two seconds behind us. He can see us. I mean, I, I feel like we've just got to let... We've got to let Guan Yu Zhou go. If he's quicker, he's quicker. If he's quicker, he's quicker. That's that's how we play this. There is DRS. That's probably why he was catching. Verstappen's not going to have DRS. Last lap. And we are one and two in Canada. But Max Verstappen is right there. Max Verstappen on his soft tyres. is going up the inside and gets it done. And Hamilton's four seconds behind now. Is Hamilton going to catch Alonso on this lap as we stayed out on the intermediates? Verstappen is going to ride off into the distance. Hamilton is so is closing so fast. Alonso, just deploy everything you've got. Joe, deploy everything Can you've you got. Really oh, they're really catching us. They're really catching us. Okay, okay. Don't get out of the way. Why are you getting out of the way, Fernando? Why are you getting out of the way? Copy. Oh, Fernando's just letting pass so easily. I don't have that face. Joe, put up a battle. Come on. Come on. Oh, Hamilton's passed him as well. Oh, no. We have one and two. But don't worry. I mean, it's been a fantastic race. I think Sainz is too far back. It was a one and two, but we had to. If we had pitted, we wouldn't have got three and four. I think that's the key, the key thing to take away here. Is that if we had pitted, we wouldn't have had three and four. So, oh, I don't know why Joe's just let a lapped car go past him. That's a little bit of a concern. But um, if we look behind us then, Alonso is there. Carlos Sainz is catching. Verstappen wins the Grand Prix as... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Not on the line. Oh, he's got him on the line. Alonso. What's going on with Alonso? I know he's got bad traction, but Alonso drops the fifth. Guan Yu Zhou gets third. Alonso got done on the line by Leclerc as well. 
It's a three and seven finish. Fernando Alonso just completely died off there in that end. I mean, three and seven is huge. I'm massive with that. But Fernando Alonso. Oh, absolute shocking at the end from Alonso. He could definitely have got those tyres up into fourth place. But Guan Yu Zhou takes the plaudits. His first podium in his career is with Aston Martin. Guan Yu Zhou, what a race in Canada. We took the risk to stay out. And I do feel like it paid off. We could have gone softs and pushed it. But Guan Yu Zhou gets a podium, which is amazing for Aston Martin. Our first one of the season. Our first one of Guan Yu Zhou's career. That, I bloody love that. Absolutely amazing. I'm so happy for him. Guan Yu Zhou, what a race. We managed it well. Okay, we probably could have gone softs late on, but I feel like we would have lost so many positions, even though everyone else pitted. For a moment, we had an Aston Martin 1 2, but Max and Lewis showed their pace on the soft tyres, and Guan Yu Zhou picks up his first podium of his career in F1. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. And it's for Aston Martin. Unbelievable scenes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Max. Well done, Lewis. And Guan Yu Zhou's up there taking the plaudits as well. Brilliant stuff. There you have it, Guan Yu Zhou up eight places. Fernando Alonso finished where he started, but uh, it was a good race. It was a really good race had by all. Uh, Lewis Hamilton got the fastest lap on as he went onto the softs at the end. That is huge for us, I imagine, the constructors. The drivers, though, Guan Yu Zhou into the top 10 with that. 21 points for him. Fernando Alonso gets 45, closing the gap to Bottas and George Russell. But, uh, yeah, in the constructors, up to fourth position we go, jumping Alfa Romeo, uh, and we are top of the best of the rest now, which is amazing. And we are battling with the Ferrari in that race. Bloody hell, what a race. And what I love about this, in terms of driver bonuses, we've paid out to both of them and we're still taking home more than when we employed Seb. So all in all, a great move. Loads of performances stuff as well. Like absolutely incredible stuff. We didn't get the fastest lap, but that was never... Well, at one point it was the case, but yeah. I think we might need to upgrade the weather station though. Um, that messed us around a little bit today. So we have a new ATR period starting as well, which is a fine reward for that Canadian Grand Prix. And everybody was delighted with that one again. Oh, I can't believe it. Absolutely superb. Uh, we have a development point for Fernando Alonso. So let's put that one into cornering up there as uh, the 41-year-old is still improving. Guan Yu Zhou doesn't have anything just yet. Neither does Drugovic. I feel like we may... Does does he... I know we've only just done a new contract. No, because he's uh, not personally... Recently started a contract, yeah. But Drugovic is doing all right. He's still got two years on his contract. Guan Yu Zhou, two years as well. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with how this is shaping up. This driver lineup, the driving partnership, the car, it's all in such a good position right now. I'm absolutely loving it. What a race that was. Thank you so much for watching. I bloody love Canada. I'll catch you in the next one, which will be at Silverstone. See you then.